this bill is an answer. It's not a great answer. Ruben Gallego offering up a less than enthusiastic endorsement. But the Democratic candidate for Senate says he's willing to compromise on a bill that would give the president more power to close the border during migrant surges, even though it doesn't include a pathway for citizenship for young immigrants known as dreamers. Look, I'm disappointed. We did pass the DREAM Act in 2000 uh, in 22, 2023 legislative session uh, and did not go to the Senate. Uh, but should we take back the House, the Senate and the White House? I guarantee you that there will be a strong effort and it will pass this time. At the same time, Gallego blasted the leading Republican running for Senate, Carrie Lake, claiming that she's using the border crisis to score political points. Carrie Lake was never going to support this bill. She came out against this bill even before there was any text to this. She, like other Republicans, want this to continue to be a wedge issue. The two politicians are sparring over the bipartisan plan brokered by Arizona's independent senator, Kirsten Sinema, who has not yet said if she will seek re-election this fall. The $118 billion package would include $20 billion to address the unprecedented surge of migrants crossing the U.S. southern border. But that funding is also tied to tens of billions of dollars in foreign assistance to the Ukraine and the Middle East. And to have $74 billion in it to fund foreign wars is unconscionable. And the people are not for this. You got to get out on the streets. Ruben is, uh, he's in fantasy land if he thinks that the people are for this. Polls show border security among the top issues for voters this year. Lake and other Republicans have been demanding Congress take action on the border for months, if not years. But she calls the Senate deal an unserious piece of legislation that doesn't go far enough. If elected, Lake said she would demand another $20 billion for additional border wall construction and a Department of Homeland Security chief willing to deport millions of migrants. I vow to only... Um support a DHS secretary, an appointee for DHS that will commit to repatriating the 10 or 12 million people who've invaded our country under Joe Biden's Biden invasion. And again, the top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell essentially declared this bill dead on arrival this afternoon. But the debate between Lake and Gallego show that there's going to be a very clear difference on border security. And meanwhile, the House just failed to pass a standalone package that would have provided more than $17 billion in aid for Israel. Back to you guys. Dennis Welch for us. Thank you very much.